best trip was Slovenia when we won 3-0. Um, brilliant trip. We were staying in a hotel just five minutes from it. It was like a palace. And uh, the 3-0 and Dan Fletcher coming on after the game with the drums um, was very, very special indeed. The Kirin Cup, uh, when we actually won it, um, everything went really well. Great people to be around about. We were there with um, loads of our, our friends. We met loads of really nice people on that trip. Uh, and uh, you met loads of um, nice Japanese people as well who were really enthusiastic about the football. It was great. Oh, favourite gateway game got to be 97 at Wembley. It was absolutely excellent. Although I didn't get on the field because my wife made us sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Best of trip, I think, was part of the plans. The, the march from the Eiffel Tower down to the ground was just awesome. I still watch it on YouTube now and then. Just to get the memory of the whole Tartan Army Buds. That was, that was an amazing trip. Out of all the stadiums I've played in in my career, and I've played in a lot of fantastic stadiums, was the West Fallon Stadium. They beat us 2-1, it's the night Christian Daly swore, infamously. But I set up the goal for Neil McCann, but I remember when we were doing the, the national anthems, I remember it's got these massive steep stands that are right on top of the pitch. Um, and that, for me, is the best atmosphere that I think I experienced. And sitting, looking up into this monster stand, thinking, this is just incredible. I do remember Norway a couple of years ago, uh, disappointing after the game, but uh, walking back into town and uh, seeing a, a, a piper having a one-on-one -on -one with a biker doing donuts was quite good, see if you could make the loudest noise, that was that was a good laugh. The hairs in the back of my neck are just bristling at the thought of James scoring the goal, and afterwards, let me tell you, what a party we had that night, it was great, Paris was bouncing. The best part for me is meeting local people. It's like going to Warsaw, for example, and you're walking down the street in your kilt and a, a busload of children go by and they all, they're all wide-eyed at you. And when we wave back, and they just uh, you get that buzz between you're a human being, you know. Football's great, football's lovely, but it's the humanity of the Tartan Army which is brilliant.